Hey everyone, I got a new stamp in the mail today and it's been a while since I've done a video so I thought I would do sort of an unboxing video and review. So this uh, stamp is from Beeducation. They're one of my favorite places to get design stamps. So they just came out with some unicorn stamps and I wanted to get my hands on them of course. Anyway, so I went ahead and ordered their full-sized uh, unicorn stamp. And as you can see, they always do a really good job of packaging. So they come in these cute little packages and and they also always include a packing list, which I appreciate because that's great for me for taxes. So they also send you um, most of the time these little um, tips and tricks kinds of uh, flyers in their packaging as well. And then here's our stamp and it's all bubble wrapped. Sometimes people have received um, stamps from them that have had a little rust on it, but it doesn't affect the integrity of the stamp and you can clean it off with steel wool. Um, anyway, it's still, they're still new, but um, they're on the California coast, I believe, and so they just have some humidity there and it just can happen with stamps, so you can clean that up with WD-40 and a steel wool pad, but this one um, doesn't have any rust on it or anything. And here is our, let me see if I can zoom in on that for you, little unicorn there. I'm pretty excited, my daughter-in-law really likes unicorns, so I thought that would be a fun one to get. So let's try it out here. I have upgraded from my little bench block to a an anvil that my brother gave me, and I like it because it raises my work up a little closer to my chest, so. Okay, and I just cover the surface with duct tape and that helps to keep the back of the piece from getting marred. So let's try this little stamp out. Beeducation stamps are really easy to line up to. I don't know if you can see this, but they're, um, they're, oh shoot, manufacturing information is on the side of the stamp that would face you on these square shanks. Okay. Uh, one thing I know from experience is just that with these bigger stamps, you want to do a tilt and tap, and so that's why I hit it so many times, but Oh, that turned out so crisp and pretty. Let me see if I can show you right there. So let me color it in. This is a Sharpie paint marker. And I'm gonna let that dry for just a second. Hopefully, I can do a better job of cleaning it up there so that we can see the image a little better. It's such a cute stamp. So I guess you just need to make sure with this that you're going to stamp it hard enough. I have kind of a light hand, and so that's great for smaller images or for, um, oh, I'm trying to remember the smaller fonts but with bigger images like this I just have to remind myself to just hit it harder so that went a lot better okay I just want to show you the detail on this I love her little mane and that little star on her back end there anyway super cute so good stamp I'm excited about this one and you can get them on beeducation.com I bought this one, I think they're $16, and um, honestly, I find when I'm ordering from Beeducation that if I purchase their stamps through Etsy instead of through their website, they ship a lot faster. So that's just a little tip for you if you're thinking of purchasing from them. Also, sometimes you'll go to their website and it'll show some of their more popular stamps as sold out. But then if you look on Etsy, they will still have a few more available and um, 
faster shipping. So the shipping costs a few cents more on Etsy, but that's worth it to me to not have to wait an extra week. So anyway, cute little full-size unicorn stamp from Be Education. And also I'm trying to remember what size it is. <laughs> anyway, I think it was a six or eight millimeter. Man, I should have, I'll put that in the description what size it was and then also a link to the listing on their website and also on Etsy where you can find this cute little unicorn stamp. Bye!